I want to inspire people to look inside them, look into their heart what they really want to do. I want to inspire them to dream and to dream big. When you're a young boy growing up in Finland, you use your imagination. You have all this freedom. Yuka is like adrenaline rush kind of dude, but sprinkled with a lot of love and compassion. I like to take myself into the extremes. I like to push my limits and explore the world. We grew up together. I actually first met Yuka. I punched him in the face and he fell on his ass. And while I was helping him up, I said, okay, my name is Jarno. My plan for this adventure was to take Yarpi and Chachi to a place they haven't been before and kind of go explore where nobody usually goes and see the northern lights. The Finnish Lapland is, you know, it's above the Arctic Circle. It's the winterland and it's pretty raw nature out there. And I think the perfect thing was to do it with Yarpi and Chachi on historical German road. That is rough, that is tough, but it's also very beautiful, and you can see some magic while riding it. <laughs> yeah, how did that end up there? You know what they used this for? Mm. All of the reindeers from this area, they gather them together and they separate what belongs to whom. And then they give them out to Santa Claus and they start delivering presents. <laughs> <laughs> Should we head deeper? Should we drive it for as long as the, we run out of trees? Higher you get, less trees. I really wanted to re-spark this adventure side with my friends. Because it's been a while since we took one. And this was sort of like the, the kickstart for the new era. So Yuka was a part of the Dudesons, and they are four best friends who were known for testing the limits. Yuka is an extremely hard worker. Sometimes he didn't know when to stop. We gotta plan that long trip. Yuka had the most pressure. He did the production company work and also running the, uh, the Dutzen's YouTube. There was just too much. The final turning point was realizing that I'm not me anymore. What do I do now? Do you guys know the road that we just drove? It's the German road from uh, Second World War. Now it's actually a, a supply road for the defense line that the German soldiers built against the Soviets, like through Lapland. There was at least 2,000 Soviet prisoners of war that put some hard work into building. Nobody knows, not even the, the war historics know what happened to those soldiers. It's pretty incredible. And it's crazy how well they used to be. Welcome, uh, welcome down to the memory lane. What up? Hey! I actually had no idea who the Dutsons were when I met Yuka, uh, but my brothers did, so I got a lot of cool points. For 10 years we did a stunt-based comedy show. We're known for being crazy stunt guys. We blew up stuff, we blew up buildings, we jumped cars. The things we did were still fairly crazy, so other people wouldn't repeat it, but they loved watching it. That was a dream come true. And we put everything we had for that show. And I moved to LA, that's where the entertainment central of the world is, and that's where we had to be. Go! But you could travel back and forth the whole time. He wanted to do something bigger. I was always so driven that I never really stopped and paused and said, like, wow, look at what we've been able to accomplish or what we did. I think Yuka really loved it in LA. But LA obviously comes with challenges and it can be a difficult place to live in. Yuka had the most pressure because he had so many things going. Trying to run the office, be an artist, and still be the guy to sell everything. So many things on his plate. 15 years ago, we actually burned down a house. The first night we went there, we accidentally burned it down. I remember we wanted to uh, make sausages. I decided to put the fire on the table in the living room. Can you with Yuka, he just said yes so many times without thinking about the toll it was going to take on him physically, mentally, emotionally. I just went there alone and started pushing and hustling and hustling. And it just like felt empty. I, I think I lost a friend. It was all just one mash of like performing and not really living. I think he was looking for simpler, like more simple life. I think he works so hard and always puts everybody first that he wasn't necessarily focusing on himself. I used to do everything for everybody else. 
And now the things I do, I do for myself. And that's the biggest difference. To me, living life now is being here, being present, being able to slow down. That's the experience, that's the life, it's the journey. I think Yuka is his happiest when he is in the nature and feeling grounded and in his roots. But it took a long time before the first time I said to him that, Yuka, now I feel like I, I got my friend back. And I feel like this is what I'm meant to do. This is the direction I want to take. This is what I also want to leave as my legacy to my children. Not being a dude, but being a great dad that took his kids and his friends for these adventures. It's been great to see that change in Yucca, how, how the wilderness and the, uh, the adventure outdoors, how big part of Yucca it is nowadays. Z zip it up, strap it tight. <laughs> Suck it in. Can you hold on to the back because you got the snacks, don't give it to the RP. <laughs> he kind of like, he, he was reborn. I think this is the first time I'm on anything on water with the RP and nobody's in the water yet. I think Yuka just likes to do things. I think uh, he's excited about life and excited to try new things and be outside. So there's not one thing to pinpoint his drive. It's just who he is. He's just a really active guy. My goal for the trip was to respark the adventures between friends so that we start doing this again and we start picking different places in Earth where we want to go and what we want to see. Pretty cool, huh? They look good. Being the Indiana Joneses and being the explorers, to go there with an open mind and to go there and learn something new and have fun. Wow, that just made my trip. I think it's rare to see Northern Lights because you have to make a trip to go and see them. So you have to have time and you have to have commitment. When was the last time you've seen Northern Lights? Oh, long, long time ago. It's rare. Most of the time you don't see it. I don't think I've seen Northern Lights with you. I think Yuka is in a good place now. I'm confident. <laughs> I think Yuka got exactly what he wanted out of this trip. Some outdoorsy time, just being being a nature man. I've always been organizing a lot of stuff for my friends and I've, you know, taken them to places. The past years I haven't done that so much. So this was kind of like the first step, the first baby step to start doing that again. We're gonna adventure the world.